So today we are going to discuss about Atmakaraka. Atmakaraka, very important planet. It's the planet with the highest degree in your chart. A very, very, very crucial planet. Many times people think that uh, Atmakaraka is all auspicious, which means they think Atmakaraka will always be good. <laughs> I think Atmakarak is like uh, some friend or you know some good good planet, right? Mm, uh, and sometimes they say, uh, okay, if the Atmakarka is in the ascendant, uh, life is very strong, life is very intense, life is very crucial, right? So all sorts of uh, things are floating around in YouTube about Atmakarka. So today we shall try to see what exactly the Atmakarka is and uh, how can you know uh, what the Atmakarka will do in your chart, right? So as usual, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me uh, regarding your Atmakarka, then don't come to me because we do not, uh, we cannot give any consultation on Atmakarka, right? We should uh, opt for consultations which are based on our real life scenarios like you know, career, marriage, health, right? Never go for any Atmakarka consultation because you you because there are eight other planets in the chart, all right? So therefore, understand that whatever happens to you at the end of your life, uh, end of every event, not, not life, sorry. <laughs> whatever happens to you at the end, is all dependent on what all the other eight planets are saying, okay? Not the Ascendant Lord, not Atmakarka, not Ninth Lord, Tenth Lord. So all the planets are important. So if you uh, want to get any Atmakarka specific consult, of course, you can uh, you can have this query that when it comes to my married life, how is my Atmakarka influencing me, right? Or when it comes to my career. But if you tell me that, could you give me a consultation just on Atmakarka? That's not possible, right? So, but for all other life uh, scenarios, you can go to my website down in the description section. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So, what's the Atmakarka? The planet with the highest degree in the chart. Now, you have to understand what does it mean when a planet, uh, why, why, why at all a planet has become the Atmakarka, okay? Because it shows that you have had quite some experiences regarding that planet, which means that, that planet, the experiences, the traits, the houses that it rules or the house where it's sitting, anything, the Karakatwas of that planet is something which uh, has the power to either make you or break you. Okay. So therefore, for example, if you have... Uh, planet as Jupiter, as the Atmakarga, then um, things like morality or uh, things like forgiveness, these things are very important for you, okay, because um, now, of course, that depends on how your Atmakarga is placed, okay, so just because the planet is Atmakarga, it doesn't mean it's uh, the best planet in your chart, and, and just because it is a malefic, like suppose if Saturn is your Atmakarka, it doesn't mean that your whole life is ruined, okay? And it, it doesn't mean if your Venus is Atmakarak that um, you'll have the best married life, all right? Now, if Venus is Atmakarak, it can it can mean that uh, anything that happens in your marriage that can make you or break you overall as a person. Which means if uh, if Venus is your Atmakarak and you are running the shahs of you know, the the 6th house or the 10th house, then this can really, really, really be a very challenging time for you. Why? Because these houses are anti-marriage. These houses are anti-union. You know, these, these houses, uh, they break off marriages and they tell you that go and stay separate, become single again. So then what happens is you, you can't, uh, you can't do that uh, if overall, if overall your chart doesn't support Brahmacharya, okay? And uh, when you end up doing that forcefully because your spouse doesn't want to stay with you or either ways, you know, your spouse doesn't like you or you don't like the spouse, then what happens is you, uh, you end up getting this feeling that my life is like lifeless. It's a lifeless life. You feel you exist, but you don't live, right? So why? Because uh, the, the houses which I'm discussing here, as the 6th or the 10th, 
is against the agenda of Venus, which is the seventh house and the eleventh house family marriage and all this, all right? So, so therefore, you have to check the horoscope and the dashas to actually know or to know exactly how the Atma Karaka will influence you, right? Or how um, how life events will influence you. Because you will see many times people, um, they, they will have like uh, very bad marriages sometimes. Or let's talk of career uh, in a short while. So, so for example, if your Atma Karaka is the Sun or Mercury, especially these two, they are very important for career. So then what happens is, um, you 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 may you may or may not be concerned about the career, right? It doesn't mean if Sun is your Atma Karak or Mercury is your Atma Karak, you will always be concerned about money and finance. It's not like that. But suppose now Mercury is your Atma Karak, for example, and um, uh, you you get a dasha of a planet which is sitting in the eighth house. Okay, so then what happens is in this case you might end up losing some money. That can that can actually disturb your mind because these experiences have shaped you uh, quite a bit in the past, like for many, 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 many lifetimes, right? So therefore, just because Mercury is Atma Karak and Mercury may be placed anywhere, Mercury himself may be in the 10th house, but suppose your Jupiter is placed in the 8th house and then you are running the Dasha of Jupiter, okay? Then when you lose finances, this might really take you into depression. So similarly, Venus is Atma Karak. And if you have a planet which is sitting in the sixth and the Dasha of that planet gets activated, then you might again run into depression because that might uh, break off your marriage, right? Uh, but sometimes you will see people, they, they, they have uh, like uh, a great 10th house, they have a great 11th house sometimes. Uh, and they may be doing very good in their career or in their you know business job profession self employed work collaboration whatever you call it and they may still feel that some area of life is lacking why because uh, their atma karaka may be sitting in the seventh house or uh, maybe linked with the seventh lord maybe conjunct or aspected by venus right so then what happens is even if the career is very good, uh, the the lack of Venusian things in a person's life uh, still uh, it it still uh, makes the person very empty, right? On the other hand, if a person has the Atma Karaka placed uh, in the tenth house or in the sixth house or in the eleventh house, uh, then uh, or if the Atma Karaka is Sun or Mercury, then if even if a person has a great married life, it, it it uh, may not make the person very, very, very happy or very jolly necessarily. Why? Because uh, this can give the person a feeling that, oh yeah, the Venusian aspects are fine, but then what about my career, right? So if your Atma Karka is sitting in money houses, like 2nd, 6th, 10th or 11th, and you have a planet uh, whose Dasha is running, which is linked to the 8th house or the 12th house, this can really make life difficult financially but more mentally, all right? At a spiritual level, uh, at a very deeper level, you'll be effect affected very badly, okay? So therefore, uh, the, the houses that your Atma Karaka signifies, the Karakatvas, very, very, very crucial. So if Venus is your Atma Karaka, for example, then you really should make sure that you are very clear on who you should marry, how you should marry, when you should marry, you, you, you should be very clear and you should put that as your first priority, okay? Whatever your Atma Karaka represents, you should put it as your first priority. Now, it may be possible that your Venus is the Atma Karaka, but Venus he himself is sitting in the 10th house, right? So, then you have to understand that even if Venus is sitting in the 10th house, but Venus himself is and will always be Venus, right? Just because a planet is in 10th house, the planet will not change its Karakatvas, which means even if Venus is in the 10th house, which is uh, a house that uh, breaks your marriage, it doesn't mean that because he's Venus, you know, he will want to break off the marriage. Okay, it doesn't mean that. It means even though he is sitting in the 10th house, but primarily he is the significator of the 7th house, right? So therefore, uh, marriage relationships, these are very important for you. So do not compromise with uh, your marriage or your uh, relationships, you know, just because you want some career opportunities, okay? So now if Venus is in your 10th, 
then this can also mean that uh, you can have some career related to creativity which might um, uh, make your heart very uh, it, it can fulfill you from the within right uh, from the heart your heart can feel uh, at ease uh, you may have a very joyful career right but for that you have to check if the fifth house is involved or otherwise uh, even if you have the atma karaka venus in the 10th you may not be able to make a career um, related to some creative work right so then that might make you miserable so therefore you you have to judge uh, what that whatever the atma karaka is telling and whatever the houses uh, whichever house he is placed what is going on overall where is the flow of the chart right is the chart so for example if your atma karaka is in the money houses so how is the chart just because you have one atma karaka in the money house it doesn't mean that career will be like uh, you you'll become a billionaire it doesn't mean that right you have to see what is going on uh, with the lord of the second house sixth house 10th house 11th house so when you see all these then you realize then you get a idea of uh, how how will be the career of this person in general right then you need to check the dashas when is the career going up when is the career going down okay so when you know that then you uh, then you actually know that if career is not going good then this can really affect the person negatively this can take the person into depression okay but if career is going good then uh, it's life life may be good for the person so then in that case if the person is you know asking you oh should i put money in you know some uh, so stock market trading or something or you know like something which is very volatile you no know, like cryptocurrency for example should i put all you know like half of my savings or you know 80% of my savings into cryptocurrency for example then you really have to warn the person because now this person if his money uh, if he loses all the money in some volatile stocks or you know in betting something right then this will make uh, the person's life very difficult the person will have difficulty behaving normally the person cannot be normal if things related to your atma karaka do not function well you cannot be normal it's uh, you may not be abnormal but you will always feel that something is not right about my life do you get that feeling sometimes that something is not right about my life which everybody has but maybe why do i don't have this now i am not talking of like uh, endless desires you know you, everybody has endless desires everybody is you know thinking oh he has that she has that why do i don't have that right i am not talking of that but if you feel that there are certain normal elements in everybody's life you know some you no know, families you know some career or you know some children some good health you know some name fame recognition or anything which you feel if you or if you feel you know your life is very dis uh, it's like very disbalanced like a lot of imbalances there in your life like so one area is very good one area is very bad right you have a great married life but then if you uh, if you have a very bad health for example so either way so if you feel that there is some serious imbalance in your life or there is an area of life where you, where you feel that everybody else is significantly doing better than you not because of some jealousy or envy but when you do a detailed analysis uh, then you realize uh, that yeah maybe that person is not one or two person but most of the people right then you might check the atma karaka and then you might see uh, what is there in the horoscope so that you can actually understand to what ex extent can i expect the things uh, that the atma karaka suggests okay so for example if atma karaka is your seventh lord then you have to see if the shahs of second seventh and eleventh these houses are running otherwise you might have to uh, make peace with the fact that uh, your relationships may not be great and then that may make you miserable so you might have to you know do more spiritual practices or you know focus on your career and uh, try to uh, channelize that energy in a proper way otherwise that can really uh, mess up your mind all right so there are a lot of things which we can discuss uh, we will discuss more on it uh, later sometime but this was a good starting about uh, the atma karaka all right thank you very much and as usual if you are new then please subscribe to the channel below and if you want a consultation please go to my website down below god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him